Welcome to another video from Creativo Solutions. In this video, you're going to find out how to use a general formula for ratio calculations. Please post comments and questions below. Tell me if you understand how to use the formula. Subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to find out when new videos are uploaded. Visit the website for more content and resources to help you. How are we going to calculate ratios? Well, you need a general formula to approach different calculations. You could use this for VAT calculations, you could use this for cost price, market and selling, you could use this for anything that you have a ratio, where you've got a relationship between different variables. So the general equation is, the answer that you're looking for is found by looking at the given amount times the want over the have. The answer is referring to the amount that you're looking for, the given is what's provided for you in the actual question. The want is a ratio in relation to what you have. So the want goes with the answer and the have goes with what's given. And that creates a ratio. It's a fraction, numerator over denominator, and I call that the basic ratio. Here's an example. Given a markup on cost of 50% for a business, you are provided with a cost price of 500. Calculate the markup and selling price amounts. Step number one is to obviously find the basic ratio. So what did the question give me? The question gave me markup on cost, which is 50%. So if markup on cost is 50%, then I know what the markup on cost is. If the markup on cost is 50%, well, that makes a fraction. Markup divided by the cost price, which is 50% which we can then equate to 50 over 100 because a percentage represents a fraction, something over something else. So 50 over 100 would be the markup on the cost. So the markup would there would be 50 and the cost price would be 100. And therefore I get a selling price of 100 plus 50, which gives us 150. That's the ratio. That's the basic ratio when approaching a question with a markup on cost of 50%. How do we find the figures? Well, I'm looking for markup and I'm looking for selling price. So I need the equation. Answer equals the given times the want over the have. The want and the have is a ratio. So the first step is obviously to get the ratio, which we've got. We've spoken about it. Markup is 50% on cost. 50 over 100. So selling price is the 150. The question gave us the cost price. We're looking for the selling price and we're looking for the markup. So can we apply the general equation to this question? Of course we can. So what answer do we want? Well, we want an answer of the markup. The markup is going to be calculated by looking at what was given. So what did I have in the question? I was given 500. That's what was given in the question. Now I'm looking at the ratio, the want over the have. So if I'm looking at the answer, which goes with the want, what do I want? I want the markup. And the markup represents 50. What do I have? I have the cost, which is representative of 100. So the ratio is the 50 over the 100. So markup is 500 times 50 divided by 100 gives you 250 as an answer. Once you've got the markup, I can then say cost price plus markup equals the selling and I end up with 750 Rand. Let's try another example. Here, you've been given a markup on cost of 75% for a business. You are provided with a selling price of 1,400. Calculate the markup and the cost price amounts. Well, step number one is to get the basic ratio. The basic ratio here would be based on the information. So markup on cost, 75%. That tells me that the markup on the cost, which is a fraction markup divided by the cost, is 75%. 75% 75 is 75 divided by 100. And that gives me the ratio. So now I know in terms of cost price, markup, and selling, I'll have cost of 100 because that's the base, okay, the denominator, markup of 75, which is the numerator, Selling price is obviously the 175. How do we work out markup and cost? Well, we've got the general equation. Answer equals the given times the want over the have. I have the ratio. We spoke about it earlier. 100 is the cost. Markup is 75. Selling price is 175. What am I looking for here? Well, markup and cost. 
What was I given? The selling price. So the selling price was given, you're now working backwards to get the cost price and to get the markup. I have the answer equals the given times the want over the have. So what answer do I want? The cost price. What was I given in the question? I was given the selling price. So if I'm looking at the selling price as the given, the answer goes with what I want and the given goes with what I have. So the cost price is what I want, which is 100, and what I have is 175. So if I times 1,400 by 100 divided by 175, that gives me an answer of 800. So now I've got the cost price. To get the markup, well, I could just solve for markup with selling price and cost price. If I work out the difference, I get the markup, which is 600. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and leave comments below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and I'll keep making more videos to help you.